Hi, welcome to How to Repair. In this video we're going to be working on an LG washing machine and we're going to be changing a door seal. The door seal that's on this machine has got a hole on the spout at the bottom. Now all the LG parts you will find in the links below or the I button on the video uh, which I hand will point to later in the video and you can get all the parts and to the tutorial on the website to show you how to replace all LG door seals and other tutorials to do with changing pumps and so on. So the first thing we need to do is we need to take the lid off the machine. So we've disconnected the appliance from the electricity supply. There's two screws at the back here which need to be undone and then the lid will slide off. Pull backwards and the lid comes off. Next we need to remove the kick strip along here. If you open this up, carefully remove the flap and you should find one or two screws inside here. This pulls forward, you can see the latchings here, then it will lift off and as you can see there's a lot of corrosion inside this machine because the seal has been leaking for so long. Right, the next thing we need to do is remove the soap drawer. Behind here you have two screws. Make sure you don't mix these up with the others because these are usually stainless steel and therefore they don't rust where the other screws of course in a wet environment will rust. Once that's off, behind here are two screws. You've got one here and one here. And again, do not mix these screws up with the others because these are screws which are designed to go into plastic, not steel. Slightly different threads on them. Now we've undone all the screws here, we can carefully pull the panel away. Sometimes this clips and we can put that up there out the way. This now reveals two screws here and there's also two on the bottom. But the first thing we need to do is undo the door lock and disconnect that and take the seal away from the actual chassis of the machine. And again you can find all the information to this on the website using the links above or below. Okay, going round the seal you will find a spring with a small screwdriver pries the spring away. Now we can drop this inside the machine and it will also give us access to the back here for the door interlock. Then what we need to do is remove the two screws from the door interlock and again it's worth keeping these screws separate from the rest. And there is the door interlock. By the way, it is very important whenever you're ordering any washing machine parts, you have the serial, uh, the serial number and the model number. If you can't find the part on the website, use the contact us page, give us this information and the part that you're looking for and we'll be able to look it up on the manufacturer's database if we haven't got the part listed uh, and once we have the part listed for you we can send you a link so you can buy the part. Okay there's a screw on this side and a screw on the other side And now you've got the two screws on the top. It's quite tight that one. And again, these four screws from the front of the machine are different to other screws. So to try and keep them all separate. Okay. Now the panel's off, door lock's disconnected, the panel should lift up slightly and come away. 
So now we've got the front panel off, we can replace the door seal. It might be an idea on this machine to take the what we would normally call concrete block, but these are plastic filled with either concrete uh, or sometimes they've got uh, beads in them. Uh, so we need to disconnect these two and at the bottom here you can see where the hole was in the door seal and where it's been leaking for a considerable amount of time. It is quite dangerous to leave a machine leaking this much uh, because you have the, elect pu uh, the pump below and of course water could have gone onto the pump. But uh, what we'll do now is we'll disconnect these brackets and take this away. So first we'll undo the clip at the bottom. There's our hole. Now we've got to undo the one at the top. And I'll also take this off as well because we've got to move the plastic from here across to the other machine. Ah, uh, the door seal, sorry. Right, the next thing we've got to do is take out this plastic from the seal. Not all machines have these fitted. Just carefully, slowly, just lift it up. We don't care too much about the old seal, but we do care about the plastic piece. So just do it carefully, and then that's out. Now we're ready to remove the whole door seal. Okay, it is possible to change the seal without taking these blocks off. So I'll just show you taking the seal off. Just lift up the spring at the top and then carefully prise the spring down. Once you've got to a point, you'll be able just to get the door seal and bring it off that way. Now fitting the new door seal is going to be exceedingly hard to get over this lip with these blocks on. So I'm going to take the blocks off to show you how to fit the door seal properly. Now just for speed I'm using my impact gun but you would normally use a 10mm um, ratchet and socket and when doing it up it is important that you do it up with a 10mm because you wouldn't want to strip. The impact is too strong and it could strip the plastic threads. So for just undoing, I'm going to use the impact. And there we go, nice and simple. Now we've got to clean up all the surface before we do anything and it's also, as I said, it's worth cleaning these pipes uh, to make sure that there's no, as you can see here, there's a load of crud built up over time and the same in this bottom one. making sure that this is completely clear because this is what gets rid of the water at the bottom of the seal and also helps to stop your seal going mouldy. Good technique by the way um, with a washing machine door seal. Dry the seal after using the washing machine because if you shut the door normally in a humid climate like the UK mould can actually build up on the seal. So we'll just give this a clean and then we'll fit the new seal. And as you can see closely, as a matter of fact I'll zoom in for this, we have a lot of calcification taking place on the drum. So it's worth using some descalers uh, or washing machine cleaning tablets that will actually clean out the inside of the machine. You don't need to do it often, once every few months will be fine. But it will help the lifespan of the machine. Okay, as we know the seal sits like that, so that needs to be at the bottom of the drum 
and will fit the plastic in once I've actually got the seal on. Now a good little technique for getting these on is just to put a dab of fairy liquid or some soft detergent, just run it round the rim don't need a lot and that will help the seal go over this lip just work your way around sometimes it's nice to have the other half giving you a hand uh, because sometimes you'll work on one side and the other side pops off go. It's easy enough and fitted. Now we're going to line this up so that our three holes at the bottom are at six o'clock directly. And the reason I put some detergent on is it does make it move a little easier. Okay, next we need to put the spring. Right, the seal, the spring comes apart, so I'm able to actually uh, thread this round the pipe. Now these springs are a little tough to get on. Just using a flat blade screwdriver, I'm able to carefully go underneath the seal without pinching it. Hold that in place, then go a few inches up, and again, do not pinch the seal, so I can remove that screwdriver now. And there we go, the seal's on. Now we can insert the plastic at the top again. Again, make sure this is clear and you've cleaned the holes out. This is just built up over time. There's a couple of little clips to make sure you get it lined up correctly in there. And again, I think this is a good occasion to put a little bit of liquid detergent. And there you go, clips in nicely there. Now we can put our pipes back on. So we'll get the cover on first, slide him over. I find pin nose pliers the best for these. And I'm going to take that to the side. So it doesn't interfere with anything. And now I'll open this one up. And there we go, we've got that on. And that's all ready to put back in. Now we can assemble the concrete. And as I said, these are plastic, but they are filled with cement on this machine. Just get one in on that side. And I'll get one in on this side. Now, as I said, not using the impactor 
to do them up because the last thing you want to do is shear the plastic on the drum because that would be a catastrophic failure. You might get away with breaking one but uh, it's not a good idea. Take them tight, hand tight and then just a nip literally about an eighth of a turn. You don't want to over tighten these and shear the plastic as I said. But you don't want them loose because they will make a very large knocking noise if you don't tighten the concrete block up correctly. And of course over a period of time it would shear the plastic as well. I've been doing this for 35 years nearly now. And I do make it look a little bit easier than it is. Just take your time with all these jobs and get them right. Because the last thing you want to do is actually have to take the machine apart again. So the seal's all ready to go on the front panel. Now we need to put the front panel back on the machine. Now I'm going to leave the door lock tucked there because I'll put that on in a minute. You can see here there are some clips. The two at the bottom are round ones, the two at the top are hooked. This is what we need to make sure we get them on correctly. Take the door up a little bit further and then she comes down and locks into place. Now we can put the four screws And these are the threaded ones. We've got the two at the top as well. And as I said earlier in this video, you've got the model number and serial number. If you can't find the correct door seal for your machine, or if you're unsure in any way, just contact us using the contact us page. The links are above and below this YouTube video. Go to the contact us page, just drop us a line saying you need a door seal for an LG, include your model number and serial number and we'll do the work for you. So we'll just get the door lock back on and as I, again I said these are certain types of screw. Now the door locks on. We can now put the actual seal back onto the chassis of the machine. Just going to give it all a clean around here. Because this machine hasn't been looked after very well. Looks like it's done a lot of use. So the seal now has to go round this lip. It is quite a sharp edge, but just take your time and work the seal round. I usually find it easier on these with the pickup points at the top to start at the top and then work your way around coming down to the bottom. And it's quite tricky around the door hinge area. And there we go. Seals nicely lined up. Make sure there's no creases, which there aren't. And now we're ready to put the spring. As we saw earlier in the video, the spring lives in the bottom. And again, I find it a lot easier to use two screwdrivers. And there you go. That's all on perfect. Now all we need to do is replace the facial panel and the bottom of the kickstrip. On the facial panel you can see a couple of location lugs 
these sit into the panel. And then make sure it's all lining up perfectly. And again, the two screws which I was on about earlier, these are stainless steel. Again, don't over tighten because they are going into plastic. Then we have the two screws which we took out from the top. No point going around to film this. You saw where they came from in the beginning of the video. These LG machines are quite a good machine. I recommend them for the simple reason they are still one of the few manufacturers that put the drums together with nuts and bolts rather than what the other manufacturers are doing nowadays which is welding the drums and stopping you replacing the bearings on the machine. Now we've just got to put this facial power kick strip on. So first thing we need to do is the drain down pipe. This is for the pump when you want to empty the filter so you don't make a mess on your floor. Then you've got three clips along here. Locate them onto the panel. And then just clicks into place. Now fit the soap drawer. I should have shown you this earlier. There is a button that says push in a lot of these soap drawers and that suppresses that so it slides into place easily. And there we go. All we need to do now is put the lid on and we'll put the machine on test. And there you go, the door seal's changed. On our website we do have other videos which will show you how to change the door lock, the pump, the bearings on washing machines, the water valves, and many other tutorials. So please click on the links above or below on the YouTube uh, site to actually take you through to the correct page on the website. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Remember you can always support the website by buying us a beer. Thanks very much for watching.